Had two doodads on your chin where mine should have been. There were doodads on your chin. Doodads on your chin. Oh, doodads on your chin. Oh, I rang your bell because I was sore. Mad as hell, my daddy opened up your door. And I could tell from his fiery laden grin. His were the doodads on your chin. My next akin had his doodads on your chin. Doodads on your chin, whoa, and you don't know where they've been. Daddy placed his doodads on your chin. God knows where they've been. I saw that and I realized that's it. I am done with people. I'm done with humanity. I saw that sight and it told me that I was right in my early assessment. Animals. That's the way to go. Like your dog will never lie to you. And if your dog disappoints you, it's because he took an unauthorized mashup on your carpet. That's it. You know what I'm saying? A dog is yours till death. I mean, that's the only thing. Till death do its part, that dog, even if you die, that dog will be lying there on top of your body. Well, realizing that and... After seeing that hideous spectacle I just described in song to you, I said, that's it. I'll never end up getting married. I went off to veterinary school to help a lot of animals in this world. I'll go off to veterinary school and help the cows, the chickens. Never having to deal with people again. I'll have a secretary that sends bills out and I'll just deal with with wildlife. I even worked on fertility potions. So there could be more animals. I had someone come to me and say, I can't get my bull. Take care of the cow. I don't know what it is. He's lethargic. I mean, he's older. I said, well, this is a perfect opportunity for me. And I went to the back room where I kept a secret refrigerator with a padlock on it. I said, this vial contains the most powerful animal aphrodisiac ever been concocted. I put my own twists to it. So this thing is so powerful. Whatever you do, be careful. You feed a little bit of this to the bull, and he'll be raging for just a couple of drops. Little did I know, that farmer was a drinking man. He stopped on the way home and had him a couple of pops. By the time he crawled out of his pickup truck, he had the cork out of that little vial of aphrodisia, and he's staggering across the barnyard. And that vial is spilling all over the ground. The animals see him coming, and they think it's feeding time, so they all run over and start lapping up the ground. The hired hand is doing the goat. The goat's doing the sow. The rooster's doing the ducks. And the bull, the bull's doing the mare. I said, well, quick. Quick, throw some cold water on him. She said, I can't. The donkey's humping the pump. It's the old new Greaseman Show.